in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this particular program, known here on the internet as the mighty, 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 mm. and you snap number seven. I am your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. I would like for these few minutes just to make this video response to this young man at this time I will call him a brother I have no real reason not to say that he is not a brother he goes by the YouTube username the health store D health store now to be perfectly honest with you I do not know anything about this brother so I cannot really comment about his videos or what he's about or, or anything the only thing I know is that I saw a video a video was sent to me where he wants to uh, promote something called the Real Men Tour. And what brought this to my attention, really, is the fact that on this Real Men Tour, they wish to place on the tour, in fact, it is the idea the idea comes from the mind of this man called Tommy Sotomayor. I would like to know this man who goes around the internet and call black women monkeys and apes, black bitches. He's a troublemaker. He disrespects our elders. Recently, he said that he hoped for more George Zimmermans to kill black people. When did this person become a friend to the black community? What makes this man a real man? A real man to who? An example of a man to what young boy? Teaching young boys to call women monkeys and apes and black bitches. And you tell them that 90% of our sisters are monkeys and apes and black bitches. A troublemaker. Always making mockery of other YouTubers. Black. When did this man become a friend? And what's going on in your mind, the health store, that you will really associate yourself with somebody and you want to present yourself to the black community like this is something that's good for us. It makes no difference what kind of good this man is supposed to have. Because his evil outweighs anything of good he could ever bring. And I watch a video where you attempt to justify and you can do whatever you want to do but why get all upset because people see things exactly for what they are you want to make some money well you make your money and any fool any screwball that want to follow behind you because there's always a fool there's always screwballs whoever want to follow you do so but there are those of us with the voice who want to speak to some of our brothers and sisters who may be naive and really don't see what's going on. Because this is not about manhood. It's not about black liberation. It's about filling somebody's pockets. Trying to seek celebrity. And if you want to say something other, 
then you can make a video response. We can talk to one another in a civil and cordial manner, but I guarantee you in the end, as far as this man's participation on a tour for real men, you're going to lose this debate because you're messing with the loser. What has Tommy Sotomayor, what does that have to do with Dr. Umar Abdul Johnson or yourself or any of these other brothers that you wish to place on this particular tour? One of the first things that President Obama, Senator Obama was asked, what do you think about Louis Farrakhan? Because Louis Farrakhan is known to be anti-Semitic. And Obama said quickly, oh, I, don't, I, I don't have nothing to, to do. Why can't Obama, of which Farrakhan voted for Obama, but Obama can't have nothing to do and won't say nothing associated with Farrakhan because of something that your Tommy Sotomayor said. Tommy Sotomayor said, uh, <laughs> sausage, Tommy, Tommy say who you associate with represents who you are. So is it possible if Dr. Umar Johnson, yourself, and all these other brothers is it possible that Tommy Sotomayor is saying something that y'all agree on? But you don't want to say it because you don't want to catch the heat and expose yourself for what you really are. So in a way, I'm really glad that you're having this real men tour because it will expose and put out in front of the people the reality of who these people, so-called brothers, what they really represent. Because anybody that can share a stage with this man who bashed black, black women, call us monkeys, call us apes, our women black bitches, disrespect our elders like Afri Synergy, Grandma Judy, you want to be associated with that? Come on. So, Obama is the president, but I can guarantee you, if Obama associated with Farrakhan, even right now, he's going to catch hell, regardless to the good things Farrakhan might bring. Paula Dean said the word nigger 50 years ago, 40 years ago, and all her sponsors began to pull out. Why? Because they don't want to be associated with somebody who might be a racist. There's no real proof that Paula Dean is a racist per se, but we're not going to take the chance. There is no Jewish person that's going to stand up that wants something in this world and wants support that will stand up and say, well, I like Adolf Hitler. It's not going to happen. But you are foolish enough to really believe we are dumb enough to embrace a Tommy Sotomayor who has not apologized for the evil things he has said to black women, our sisters. Now, look at this. What if he, remember, 90% of black women are like this. They monkeys and apes and black bitches. So you have a 10%. So because you are cool with Tommy, he won't call your mother a whore, a prostitute, a monkey, a black bitch, because y'all cool. But, your, but what if your mother wear weaves? What if she's ghetto? Or, I, or you would join Tommy and say, yeah, my mama is a monkey and I ain't black bitch. This shows why you're trying to show us our sickness because you say, Oh, we are haters. We try to, we want to down other people because we're down ourselves. There's nothing down about me. To associate with Tommy Sotomayor is the down. From that place, the only place you can go is up. Nobody is hating on Tommy Sotomayor. 
You want us just to ignore these nasty, filthy, vile, and profane words. And Tommy Sotomayor also said, I'm getting paid by the racists. I don't care. As long as they pay me. They told me to say whatever. And I took their money because I, I got to get paid. Y'all not paying me. So this goes to show. And it brings a question to what your tour really supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about real black men. And in conclusion, I want to say this. And I'm not degrading you or making mockery of you. But what made y'all real men? Because I know I'm trying and learning. But I have yet. After a, after a half century. I've yet to really know what that is. And you cannot become a real man. Till you become free. And within that society. The society determines the criteria of what a man is supposed to be. And so when you become a real man, you fit the criteria for the culture, the society that you created and that you built. What is you basing being a real man on? Who is your example? Because you marry? Because you feed your children? Because you got an education? What is the criteria? What is it? And if you're a real man, how come you still a slave? To the races, but you're a real man. How come you still depend? How come the money that y'all lusting for? How come the money still has the Caucasian racist man's face on it? But you're a real man. A real man would be shamed. What is the benefit to the community for your tour instead of lining your own pockets? What are you going to do? What is it for? A daycare center? For black women, so they can go have a place to take their children, so they can go to work or, or whatever, or a basketball, a basketball goal in the neighborhood, so the young children can play basketball. What is, what is the goal except your own pocket? Selling DVDs and books. Listen to my radio show. It's all about you exploiting the people. I talk loud, so don't. <laughs> Don't get upset about my, my voice. I just talk loud like that. Because I get emotional real quick. I get emotional about my people that I love, that I'm part of, that deserve better. And not to be hustled by some clowns. Not calling you a clown, but I will call Tommy Sotomayor a clown. Because if he can dish it out, he can take it. You will call somebody a monkey and an ape, a gorilla, or whatever black beastie bitch, then you should be able to handle it yourself. But your Tommy Sotomayor can't even handle it. He's always crying. Oh, they they went to my grandma's house. Oh, they went to my mama's house. Oh, they come to my house. Oh, oh, oh. Who knows how many boxes of tissue Kleenex this man has used from crying. But he does not have a problem we're causing others to cry. So, really, when it's all said and done, it's good that you presented and brought before the people this so-called real man tour that I don't know where, I don't know how you became a real man when the black man has been a slave in this country for 400 years. Because if you're a real man, you don't control nothing. You don't build nothing. When did y'all become these real men? I would like to know. Because right now, nobody is imp nobody impressed me, including myself. Because I'm learning, trying to get there. I don't claim to be no real man. You can't be a real man living in another man's house. Still a slave. How you gonna be a real man? What example you gonna give to these children? All that you gonna do is talk. Buy my book. Listen to listen to me talk on the radio. What kind of crap is that? This Caucasian man has a country. He control you. If the Caucasian man tell you you ain't gonna have no tour, what you gonna do? You gonna say okay? He ain't gonna let me have a tour. Jot down your come. Come on. Jot down your coming. Let's talk about it.
do a video response uh the health store and let's let's be civil about this but don't don't play us don't don't try to hustle us with all that fabricated stuff that you saying for three hours on a video nobody into i'm out y'all time is over <laughs>